Hey, what's up, y'all? Man, I got some really terrible lighting in, in my the basement of my house. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, I'd like to talk about um, a point of just of how insane my thoughts are. How insane human thoughts are. It's like... For one thing, they're just very repetitive. And... Most of my thoughts are about the past. Most of my thoughts are about the future... Not many of my thoughts are about what's actually happening right here, right now. And sometimes I feel like my thoughts are out of control. Sometimes I feel like my thoughts are a runaway train that can't be stopped. And sometimes I have to get out of the way of that train before I get hit and do some real damage. You know, even damage such as self-destruction or self-harm. <sighs> yeah, uh... When I think about the word, like our thoughts are insane, I thought about redefining that because it's almost like, it's almost like sanity and sanity are one, one and the same, isn't it? Um, Because what's, what is really sane and what is really insane? Because what some people may call sane, like a nine to five mentality as reality, um, I notice that it is actually quite insane the nine to five reality is actually quite insane but some people may say that it's nor normal or sane okay and that's pretty interesting but i kind of thought about redefining insane and sane, you know, um, because it is a, a kind of black and white thinking where you're either sane or insane. And as hard as it is for me to express what I mean, um, I redefined insane as outsane. In other words, how can we get out of that? Because the word insane means you're in sanity. You're in, inside something. So how do we get out? How do we get out of that cycle of sanity and insanity? So we become outsane rather than insane. Um, so. 
So how do I, how do we get from insane to outsane? My first response is, I don't know. <laughs> but I hope to find a way. Even though that way may become ruined. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of a response being on camera here. That is original and from myself. I could talk about information I've learned about sanity and insanity. Or I could try to create it within myself. So the definition of insanity is, is like doing the same thing over and over and expecting the same results and it's kind of overwhelming for me to look at within myself because it resonates true with myself and with my mind that there's things I do that are robotic and habitual and kind of this kind of um like a machine even the ways i express myself can be the same thing over and over kind of so, even doing this video right now in this moment, I am directing myself rather than my mind expressing myself. You notice I am speaking differently because this is real. And I am facing myself, looking in the mirror, even right now, looking looking in the mirror and seeing what is going on and how possibly my insanity can't be ignored. Why? Because other people are going through it. And why? Because we are not separate. We are not separate. <sighs> Whoa, it's like, yeah, that's a realization. That we are not separate and whether people are sane or insane, they're still going through it. They're still going through the thoughts in the head, which are pretty mad and pretty insane. And I can't, I could go off and say, gee, this is an insane society, but not me. I'm not insane. No, because that would be me being in denial of what is happening within myself, with my mental health, and um, I am here to face myself and my insanity and that would be bullshit. I am here to, to what? I'm here to own my insanity and say yes. I am insane. <laughs> yes, I am a human being. Um, but the way that I am designed is insanity. <sighs> wow. 
why is it insanity? Oh boy. <laughs> now we're getting now we're getting intimate here. <laughs> why is it insanity? Why why do I call myself insane? I call myself insane because I have repetitive thoughts that I don't express to people. I don't want to express to people. But the thoughts drive me crazy. The thoughts drain me. The thoughts bring me down into a place where nobody but myself can reach me. And they bring me to places of paranoia, to places of fear, to places where I feel like a madman. And when I'm surrounded by people, by other people, I, if it's very uncomfortable, I may project those same thoughts onto the people around me. And those insane thoughts cause me to freak out. They cause me to be unstable. They cause me to be emotional. To cry, to break things, to suppress my voice, to suppress what is happening in my mind. And of course, to separate myself from others and the world. separate myself on Facebook from people, to separate myself from my family, to isolate myself, to be in a state of mind which I am at war with myself sometimes or at war with others. And they cause me to become a victim. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is it. They cause me. So much pain. They cause me to believe that the world, to believe that the world is a dangerous place, to believe bullshit like I'm not good enough, like I'm not worthy. Like something is wrong with me. Like I am just wrong. I'm not just wrong about this argument. Who I am is wrong. Cause me to think that every little thing I do is wrong. They cause me to think that I am separate from other life forms. And they cause me to think that I can't make it. They cause me to think that I do not fit in this world. Therefore, I am useless. They cause me to think that 
the way I think is it is wrong. They caused me to think that I have to go to war. I have to fight <coughs> and kill. They caused me to think that I am not good enough for the opposite sex. Cause the thoughts caused me to think that I don't deserve this career, that I am a failure, that I fucked up my life. They caused me the most harm, which is to hold in what is going on? They cause me to be my own worst enemy. Whoo! Well, yes, this is true. This is self-honest. But about the insanity that lies beneath the mask that lies beneath the facial expressions that lies beneath that lies lies l i e lies bullshit it's all bullshit because if i see someone of the opposite sex that I want to talk to, it causes me to think that that is not okay. <laughs> which is, which is fucking bullshit. Because, I don't know, it is maybe natural to have Attraction to the opposite sex if you're straight. Or if you're homosexual, then there's the attraction to the same sex. Um, but um, I personally am attracted to the opposite sex. And I personally don't have a problem with people who are attracted to the same sex. Just to put that out there. Um, so I can see from watching this, and I'm sure the viewers can see, that I am, that the thoughts in my mind are insane. But. There is a sanity in that, 